The Indian space ecosystem is gearing up for its busiest period of launch activity. It's not just the Indian Space Agency, ISRO, private firms are now joining in in a significant way. For the first time ever, the Indian government has released a list of more than two dozen rocket launches that can be expected in the coming months. For more than six decades, rocket launches from India involved only ISRO, the government-run space agency. The Indian space sector used a or used to be a government-only domain. However, in the year 2020, the Indian government permitted private firms to build and launch their own rockets and satellites. This is a move aimed at ensuring that India captures a larger pie in the lucrative global space economy, which is estimated at $450 billion. India's share of this $450 billion US dollars market is just around 2%, that is around $9 billion. How do you measure a growing space ecosystem? One way is to look at the number of launches that happen in a year. The Indian space sector regulator or regulator and facilitator in space has done just that. They have released an entire timetable comprising the list of launches that India will undertake in 15 months, that is the year 2024 and the first three months of 2025, a whopping 30 launches have been planned in these 15 months. The launches will be executed by both ISRO and private firms such as Agnico and Skyroot, who are building their own rockets. Executing as many launches in a limited time frame is a huge step for the Indian space sector and indicates that there is potential for greater progress. We on senior pro uh, correspondent Siddharth MP put this into perspective. On average, India executes about 10 rocket launches per year. But very soon, this is going to change multifold, with India expected to launch at least 30 rockets in the coming 15 months as per the Indian Space Sector Regulator in space. What we have to keep in mind is that of these 30 rockets, at least seven of them will be built by private firms or startups that are emerging in the launch vehicle sector. Let's also keep in mind that when India has to do 30 launches, India only has one spaceport, the Satish Dhawan Space Center, which is equipped with two launch pads to handle this kind of a volume. However, if India wishes to grow its space sector in a larger way and also operationalize its facilities for more launches and more frequent launches, India will have to soon have more launch pads and also establish its second spaceport very soon in Kulashekra Patnam, which of course is in Tamil Nadu. And this is an upcoming project. So once that is ready, India will be able to meet the larger demand in the space sector and also improve its space ecosystem in the country. From Chennai, Siddharth MP, We On, World Is One. For all the latest news, download the Wii on app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.